Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about scatter plots and drawing the line of best fit. After you have created the scatter plot, you next can determine if it has a negative correlation, a positive correlation, or null or no correlation. This is where the line of best fit can help out. A couple of tips for drawing the line of best fit. First, determine the direction of slope. Next, draw the line in the middle of the data as best you can. You can try to have an equal number of dots on both sides of the line of best fit. And finally, the dots should be an equal distance from the line of best fit. If you can do all of this, you'll have a nice line of best fit. Remember, there is not an exact science in drawing this. There's a little bit of guesswork involved. If the scatter plot has a high correlation, the line of best fit is fairly easy to draw in. For example, take a look at this scatter plot. The line of best fit can be drawn like this, and it's fairly easy to figure out where you should draw it. If the scatter plot has a weak correlation, like this example, the line of best fit can be a little more challenging. Remember, you want to try to have the line of best fit roughly in the middle of your dots. Try to have roughly an equal number of dots on both sides and at equal intervals. Sometimes there's a little guesswork involved in setting up your line of best fit. In this first example, it looks roughly in the middle. And if I count the dots on each side, I have 33 on one side and 25 on the other side of the line of best fit. So I can redraw the line of best fit, and this time the slope is a little bit greater. It looks like it's in the middle of my dots, and this time I have 27 dots on one side and 29 on the other. So I think it's a little bit better line of best fit. If you have a scatter plot that looks like just a bunch of dots, then you have no correlation and you still with your line of best fit try to have it in the middle of your data points and at equal intervals but take your best guess at it so there we go scatter plots and the line of best fit thanks for watching and moo moo math uploads a new math and science video every day please subscribe and share